uh, my engine is not staying idling and I'm halfway out of uh, the marina luckily I got out of the dock area but I've got a fuel delivery problem and uh, I gotta figure it out um, let's troubleshoot this and see if we can get this motor started so this is what's happening Get it started here. Idle. And then just cut out like that. So I'm just trying to get a little bit further out so that I can um, maybe just drop the anchor and sort out the fuel issue. So that's what's going on at the moment. wind is pushing me towards that so I'm trying to avoid the pylons I'm trying to avoid that but I just want to get far enough out that I can at least throw an anchor Pumping this. So you see how it just picked up a little bit? When I pump that. Oh, that one died. Oh, frustrating. Frustrating. Okay. I'm gonna throw an anchor down. I'm far enough out. Um, I'll start troubleshooting. Got my anchor going out. Hopefully it'll grab here in a second. I anchor from the rear just because as a solo sailor, I haven't found an efficient way to anchor from the front. So I anchor from the rear, but um, I feel like I've got tension right there. I'm gonna just wait just a second. I got plenty of time to go sailing, but um, sometimes, sometimes these frustrating moments just take the wind out of your sails, so to speak, right? So, um, okay. I think we're, I think we're anchored. I feel comfortable. Fuel, spark, compression are the three things that are gonna make this motor run. To better illustrate this, my friend Andy at Slider Shock made these graphics for me. For an engine to run, fuel and air must enter the cylinder. The cylinder must compress the fuel and air mixture. The spark plug will ignite the mixture. And finally, the exhaust exits the engine. The cylinder will do this hundreds and thousands of times a minute. Um, I know that we've got spark because it's firing. I know we've got compression because it's firing. I, it's fuel starve is popping every time so I know it's a fuel delivery issue so if I'm thinking about this system the fuel tank into the fuel lines to the carburetor the carburetor there my guess is it's the fuel tank my guess is the fuel tank is not breathing properly it's not creating the right pressure and therefore as the system is sucking it in it's not sucking it in properly that's my guess um, it started last time I went out after I motor sailed for a couple, about an hour. Now, with that being said, it could be a dirty fuel filter. Um, so, uh, I don't have another fuel filter with me. So, I'm going to just take a few minutes, get composed, 
tear into that and then we'll go from there. So here's kind of where I'm troubleshooting at this point. So let's go look. So this outlet right here definitely had fuel coming out of it. When we've lifted it up a few times, that had fuel let coming out of it. And I didn't hear any pressure when um, I lifted it like a like a um, vapor lock situation. This is just a fuel gauge. Don't believe it's gonna have anything to do with fuel delivery, but it's a valve, you know, vent. Maybe the air could get in or need to be tightened. So I'm gonna just tighten that up. Okay, that's tight. That's tight. This I saw fuel. I can see fuel in there. That's tight. This I've got half a tank of gas. Put that on. Okay, I've got gas. Don't see any issues with the line here? This has pressure. This has pressure, like it's got fuel in it. And when I disconnected the valve, you can see there's fuel there. So there's getting fuel. Actually, can you see that fuel coming out? Can you see fuel dripping out? So I know I've got gas getting up to here. feel very confident that that's going to there the kill switch is attached so the next thing is to take this cap off very carefully I'll drop it in the water and uh, see if I can look at the fuel filter so that's the next step so Fuel filters right here to the carburetor. For some stroke of luck, I brought uh, I brought my tools with me today, which I never do. Um, so I'm gonna carefully take this off. And just see what that looks like. So that's where I'm at. off There's fuel in there We've got unrestricted fuel flow so that's where we're at not much more troubleshooting I can think to do out here. We will uh, put the fuel line back, put the fuel filter back, I mean, get it back in the water so it can run the water pump, um, see if it'll idle for a second. So that's the open. Let me see if they open. I'm not going to break anything. So I see a lot of black right there. I'm assuming that's just crud. Which I'm assuming is not dang it, good for a uh, I'm assuming that's not good for a fuel filter to have that black crud in there. So, I'm gonna put this back, and then, um, then we'll go from there and see if we get it started. Flow is this way, so we are gonna go this way. Put it in the water and see what we got. <laughs> Um, 
I'm gonna pull anchor and I'm just gonna motor around for a few minutes and just see if um, we solved it. I don't know. Right. Um, got my anchor right here in case I need it. Got my anchor. Um, I'm not gonna go too far. I suspect after it motored for almost 30 minutes or an hour actually last time I suspect just some stuff got clogged in the fuel filter because that's when it started acting up so I need to uh, motor around get a new fuel filter and uh, hopefully we'll be alright today but I'm gonna just motor around for a little bit and just see if uh, that solved it so joys of boating, yachting, right? It is a beautiful day. Ah. Part of me wonders if I should just head into the marina. I'm thinking I should. Where it's where it's running right now. You think it's clogged again? I think that's my plan. Yeah, it's just fading. Yeah, I think marina... So, I'm gonna get prepared. I'm gonna get my boat hook out in case I need that. Boat hook's in there. I'm gonna get my boat hook out and uh, we'll go from there. Popped, popped on me and then just died. So, um, didn't even get a chance to get the boat hook out. Boat hook out. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't really like this situation to be honest. This is uh, less than fun. So I need to get the boat hook out and then I just need to figure out how to keep it running long enough to get back into the slip. Because <sighs> I don't have any other troubleshooting solutions out here. Um, it's, uh, it's just not getting fuel. Um, I don't need to get towed. I'm gonna. <sighs> I have to figure this out. So, all right, let me get the boat hook out, and at least I'm farther away from everything. So, let me get moving. So it definitely does not like full throttle. Um, I'm just entering back into the no wake zone. Um, I don't. It's not good. Um, I just. I don't have the knowledge right now to know what to do and so I'm just trying to get back get back to the dock without doing any damage to primarily other boats I've got my bullet hook out I've got my buoys out I've got some seats out in case I need to you know I've got my anchor out I, I don't know what else to do um, so I'm just trying to get back and it's not like it's a dangerous situation but I do have a guy who's literally fishing in the middle of the lane right now um, you know, and I've got a crippled boat, and I, I just, uh, you know, there's always variables, right? And that's part of it, but um, I just need to stay calm, think about what's going on. I, I just know it's some sort of fuel delivery issue, and um, I've got hundreds of yards to go. I'm nowhere near safe at this point, but I just have to do my best. I've got the anchor ready. I've got the boat hook ready. Uh, that's all I know to do. So um, I'm monitoring the wind. The wind's not too bad right now, but I know it's blowing me to the north. So I'm going to stay to the south just so that if I do lose control or the boat dies and I got to figure something out. Seriously, man. He's, he's literally fishing in the middle of the channel. Thank you for moving. Okay, so I'm in my channel. I'm in the marina now. I've got to go oh, quite a ways more, but at this point, if I have a bailout, I'm going to try and get to the middle or stay there and then, um, and then just do a restart and see if I can't just keep motoring. It gets more hairy past this channel when it gets a little bit more narrow, so it's all good. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna, I mean, luckily right now, fingers crossed, it's, uh, it's, it's idling, it's running. 
I'm just trying to keep an eye on my bailout plan at this point, right? So at this point, I think that my bailout plan with boats there and there, my bailout plan is to anchor, uh, drop anchor and just get the boat stopped if I can't get the motor started in, in a quick manner. Now, when I turn to the port side and head down my marina, that's gonna get more narrow and uh, my bailout plan will definitely be boat hook and anchor because I have less time to react. Um, I'm halfway back to the marina right now, so. About to make a poor side turn. Um, so this is the home stretch, but it's also the most nerve wracking because it's gonna be where I have the least room. Right now, I don't know why things are running just fine right now. I just, at this point, I don't trust the engine because I don't know what I did or didn't do. Um, but it's home stretch. home stretch at this point um, at this point I'm gonna um, at this point I'm gonna just basically count on the fact that I, I pretty well could get into the dock at this point I've got enough momentum I'm close enough so we made it um, in fact I'm about to idle down right now and get into the dock so um, I'm gonna put the camera down but I did make it and that's a huge relief that I made it Oh boy, all right, wind's blowing me. Oh, shoot. This is gonna be a bad, bad one. Wind's blowing me way too, way too far over. I killed the engine a little too soon. Okay, okay, I think I got it, I think I got it. Oh, okay, reverse. Reverse, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We made it. Um, I didn't like that at all. Um, being tied up right now is a good feeling. You know, you just don't want to hit anything. You don't want to do damage. And it's not like a car where you can maybe put chocks under the wheels or, or um, you know, just stop. Get your composure. You know, you you have you have multiple steps in this situation to even just stop. Um, so um, staying, you know, staying composed is important. And luckily, the motor got me in. So while I'm frustrated and I don't necessarily trust the engine right now because I don't still know what's wrong, at least I'm safe in the dock tied up didn't hit anything didn't hurt anyone didn't hurt myself didn't do anything you know but um definitely have to figure out what went wrong and how to fix that i'm thinking about the engine and i want to uh i want to think this out loud i unplug the fuel line every time and i let the engine run until it's it dies the carburetor is empty every time um every time I start the boat on a fresh day. But it's when you put it in gear. So I'm wondering if... When you put it in gear and it gets under load and the RPMs change maybe? I don't know, that might not make any sense. You just can't get it to replicate here in the marina so that's what i don't understand a huge thank you to andy at slider shock for the graphics i encourage you to head over to his site and check out the merch there is a link in the description below